Hey, I'm Ryan uh, or Panda TV. Uh, we're going to be talking about Are You Okay today, and I am a Twitch streamer. Uh, I think it's important because obviously, you know, if you start to notice that something's going on with one of your friends, you want to try and be there for them, and uh, you got to try and do your best to try and either talk to them or point them in the right direction to talk to someone. I would say generally some of the signs that would sort of make you see that someone's changed, and maybe they're not talking as much as usual, maybe they're not like being as interactive as they normally are, uh, maybe they talk to you pretty often. Uh, maybe they call you, and maybe you're just not hearing from them. Maybe they're acting different, a bit more quiet than normal. So I think the best thing you can do is just try and be there for them. And if it's not you that's there for them, if you have another friend that maybe you know that they talk to, just try and get that person to talk to them. Try and get someone within your circle of friends uh, or family and try and talk to them, uh, even if it's for a little while or for a long time, because every little voice helps. So There's someone that's been around my community for a long time, and uh, I won't say who they are, but they've been around uh, for a long time, and they lost some people in their life. And uh, I know for a fact, they were on their way to go and do something bad um, to themselves, uh, sort of where an accident happened where they maybe lost some people in their life. And uh, I know that they, on their way there, went into like a Twitch channel and uh, they joined into a really big channel and, and they sort of said like, hello, and it got lost in a sea of 20,000 people. And um, I guess on their way driving there, they stopped their car and said hello in quite a small channel and the streamer sort of said hello back. Um, and I know for a fact that they told that streamer that that person saying hello literally stopped them um, from going and hurting themselves. So they pulled over and they started talking to that streamer for a little while. And, um, and that was all it was. They just started talking to that person, had a conversation, turned their car around, went back home, watched that person stream the next day. And um, I've seen stuff like that or heard of stuff like that happening a lot on Twitch. I sort of got involved when that person started watching me. Uh, and they were hugely supportive to me uh, for a long time and still still are to this day. But uh, I sort of got involved in the conversation when I was explained sort of how they found the other person's channel and I was told after a long time um, sort of the reason why and how they found that channel. And uh, it's always been one of the, the sort of stories that holds closest to my heart. And I think it's a really, really cool, cool thing that's happened. And again, you know, I think it's a great thing that happens on Twitch. Well, I think it's important um, with stuff like this because there's a lot of people out there that don't want to talk whether it's they don't want to be a nuisance to other people or whether they don't want to put their drama on other people and that's a big thing for some people they don't like to talk they could be stubborn I myself am very 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 stubborn uh, even if I'm not okay when it comes to twitch streaming as soon as I go live I have to try and put on that happy face and that's not always the right thing to do you should open up and you should talk to people um, and you should try and let other people be there for you and it's such a big thing and I think that sort of seeing the signs and, and seeing how people are and seeing how they react to you trying to be there for them even if they push you away a little bit sometimes it's important to try and push past that brick wall whether it seems stupid or not to you just reach out to someone just reach out to them and say are you okay like literally say are you okay um, even if it's someone that you maybe notice a post or you notice a Facebook post or something Twitter post Instagram post they're like oh it's a little strange maybe reach out and just try and have a normal conversation with them you don't directly have to say you know, do you need help? Do you want to talk to me? Um, just reach out and just have a normal conversation with them and see where it goes. So I think it's an important thing to do.